نحمد هو نصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد قال الله تعالى في شان حبيبه إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد أصحاب وبارك وسلم Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to the program Miftahul Quran and of course we continue in lesson 15 C and uh, Surah An-Nisa chapter 77 onwards Auz billahi minash shaitanir rajim I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the accursed Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim I begin in the name of Allah the beneficent the merciful and of course in our previous lesson that is lesson 14 we began part of this verse number 77 and of course we're not going to repeat the word by word translation alam tara ila allazina qila lahum kuffu aydiyakum wa aqimus salata wa atuz zakah Did you not observe or look at those whom it is said unto them, withhold your hands and establish the salah and give the zakah? So in other words, Allah is trying to tell you, people who are emphasizing on certain things and leaving out the other. فَلَمَّا كُتِبَ عَلَيْهِمُ الْقِتَالُ So when the fighting or warfare is decreed upon them, so in other words, They want to be satisfied with one facet of practice and not the other. Iza fariqum minhum yakshawun an-nas. Behold, a party of them fear the people. In other words, when they are told now, besides making salat, besides giving zakat, and, and, and you have to go and fight. So what they do, they fear people. In other words, they are scared. The khashya tillahi. Aw ashad da khashya. They, they, they fear people even as they fear or, or fear worthy of Allah or more intense in fear. But, وَقَالُوا رَبَّنَا لِمَا كَتَبْتَ عَلَيْنَا الْقِتَالِ لَوْ لَا أَخَّرْتَنَا إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ قَرِيبٍ Now this is what they say. Wa and قَالُوا قَالُوا قَالَ He said, wow, Alif makes it they, they say. Now you must remember this actually past tense, but Arabic has its own style of trying to say that you could actually accommodate the one language to the other. Qalu, they say, Rabbana, our Lord. Now this fatha there tells us that is a vocative case, that is being addressed. You see, in other words, the ya is understood as we have emphasized it. It's ya Rabbana, O our Lord. Why? Because in an idafa construction that is addressed, you find that we have the one that is addressed in the accusative case. Rabbana, our Lord, lima. Lima means why, why. You see, it's an interrogative, right? Katapta, kataba, he wrote, katapta, what is ta? Ta is you, singular, katapta, you wrote. Or, you know, when Allah writes something, It becomes a law. You can say Allah did decree. Allah did determine. You see. Alayna. Alayna. Allah is of course on. Na is us. Alayna. You notice this Allah is actually it's supposed to be like this Allah. You see you must have come across this Allah. Allah is upon us. Al-Qital. What has been decreed upon us? You ask the question what after the verb. You are going to get the object of the sentence and Al-Qital is in the accusative case. The sign of the object is the Fatha. So Al is the fighting. So you're asking, why have you decreed fighting upon us? Lawla, had, had that. Akhartana, Akhara. You see, Akhara means to be, to, you know, to be last or to be second. But Akhara, 
Akhara means to, to, to promote uh, uh, things such a way that you delay it. Akhara, what it is? It is a second form verb. Akhara, you akhiru, ta'akhirun, delay. Akharta, akharta, what is ta? Ta, you. And this is addressed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, we put in a capital letter, you. Akharta, you granted delay, na us, or to us. You granted us delay. Ila to, ila is a preposition. So we say ajalin is in a genitive case because of the preposition. And of course, because it is in the indefinite article, double vowels, double fatha, double kasra, double dhamma, always give the indefinite article. Qareeb, a short or a close by, you see. Waqalu, and they, and they say, now they, they are scared. They, 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 they scare of people more than they are scared of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or in the same way. And they would say, Waqalu, and they say, Rabbana, our Lord, Lima katabta alayna al qitar. Right? Why have you decreed or wrote the fighting or warfare on us? Laula akhartana ila ajalin qarib, had that you granted us a delay to a short term. You see, question mark comes in because of lima. You see, Qul, Allah's Nabi has been told to these people in the time of Madina, or even now too, it's an answer from Allah, that those who want to be cozy to say we don't want to do this, we only want to do selected things, but when it comes to more important things, they want to shy away. So Allah's reply is, Qul, mata'u dunya qalilun wal akhiratu khairun liman ittaqa. Qul, mata ad dunya qalilun wa al akhiratu khairun liman ittaqa qul say now wherever you know we've been emphasizing this allah talks about qul it means a command to the nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam reply or tell them or say them qul what mata mata mean enjoyment or the provision mata ud dunya Right, of this world. Now, this is an idafa construction, what we call the genitive construction. Qalilun is a nominal sentence, is, gives you is. But because it's also tanwin, we do not say the, we say a. So, wa, but. Now, because you are making two statements in opposite way, so we say but, al akhiratu. Now, notice this is al, beginning with an definite article but ending with a feminine round ta this is how the hereafter but there's another way of expressing it also al yawmil akhir we have done that isn't it two ways khairun is better khairun is better why because we say it is tanwin which gives us a nominal sentence jumla ismiya liman li is two or four man whoever now you notice this is liman but because it is joined here, that fatha becomes a kasra, right? It taqa, or one who practices taqwa, he is Allah conscious. So see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replies <clears throat> that these people who only want to act selectively, they do not want to go out and physically defend themselves. Allah says, Qul, mata'u dunya qalilun, say, the enjoyment or the provision of this world is a little. Wal akhiratu khairul taqa. But the hereafter is better for one who is Allah conscious. In other words, those who practice taqwa. Wala tuzlamuna qalila. Wa la tuzlamuna qalila. Now you notice this. Wa and Allah is replying. He says, tell these people. That the provision of this world is, is, is temporary, qalil, but the hereafter is a permanent thing. And la not tuzlamuna. Like you see, this is zalama to, to wrong. But when you have on both sides, you have the dhamma on the trilateral, like you see on, on the personal pronoun here, tuzlamu, right? He will be wronged. 
Now wow nun makes it plural. Of course, ta is you. As lama usually mu, but when you put it into its pattern, yeah, right. Zalama use lamu la kataba yuktabu. Kataba he wrote, right. Yaktubu he writes, but yuktabu it is written. So it it shall be wronged or you shall be wronged. Fatilan a wit. Fatila meaning the date skin. You notice the most useless thing, the date skin of 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 the what you call seed. So Allah says yeah. Wala tu lamu na fatila, and you shall not be wronged. A wit, or in the most, in the least, you see. So of course, what Allah is trying to tell to the Nabi that you go and if you fight, you die, or whatever it is, you shall not be robbed. And of course, we have a short break. And just to remind you, you are watching the program Miftahul Quran on ITV, and inshallah, after a short break, we shall continue. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah and welcome back to the program Miftahul Quran and of course you are watching ITV and we are continuing with verse number 77 of Surah An-Nisa. And just before the break, we were discussing how Allah had commanded those who want to be scared, who, who fear men just as much as how they would fear Allah. But Allah is replying through the Nabi that tell them that the life of this world is, is a short, is temporary, but the hereafter is a permanent thing and also better, and also you are not going to be robbed or wronged in any way whatsoever. Ainama takunu yudrik kumul mautu walau kuntum fi burujim mushayida. Ainama kun takunu yudrik kum al mautu walau kuntum fi burujin mushayida. Ainama, wherever, or whithersoever, right, wherever, in other words, whether you are here, whether you are there, Allah is trying to tell you, Takunu Kana, he was Yakunu, he is, Ta, of course, you, Wow, Ali makes it Takunu, you are, meaning plural, Yudrik, see, Adraka, Yudriku is a fourth form verb, right, means to overtake. Adraka Yudriku. So Yudrik, right, and of course it means Ya, He will overtake you, but because Allah is talking about death, death is a subject here, and therefore we are going to use this Ya as She or He, He will overtake you, but because it's death, in English we've got to accommodate as It shall overtake Kum you. Do you notice? The fourth form verb, adraka yudriku yudrikum al-maut. Al-maut, maut is a subject. You ask a question, what? What will overtake you? You are going to get the answer in the nominative to say that al-mautu, you notice the dhamma there. There is a dhamma there to show you that it is a subject of the sentence or the nominative case. The death, walau even though. Kuntum, kana, he was, right, kuntum, you, be, right, kana, he was, kuntum, you, see that ta, the tum, means you, right, you be, fi in a preposition, burujin is in a genitive case, barjun, burujun is plural, towers, mushayida, you see shayida, mushayida means 45, strong, nobody can enter there. You see, you have a tower and everything is so fortified. Now, why do you notice this is in the feminine gender here? Let's see. You see, because if you look at Buruj, Buruj is a non-personal plural described by a feminine singular adjective. You notice? This being been emphasized. So, Ainama Takunu. Ainama Takunu, wherever you are. Yudrikumul maut, 
the death will overtake you. In other words, Allah is trying to tell these people, you are scared, you don't want to come and defend your rights, etc., etc. You are satisfied to, to live in at home and carry on with your other rituals and all. But, walau kuntum fi buruji mushayyida, even though you be in fortified towers, death is something that you cannot avoid. Wa in tusibhum hasanatun, yaqulu hazihi min indillahi. Wa in tusibhum hasanatun, yaqulu hazihi min indillahi. You see, wa and. Now these people who come there, you see, they, they're always looking for excuses. Wa and in if tusibhum asaba it befalls, but tusibu, right, asaba it befell, tusib is present tense, and tu means you. Does it mean you? It means you and she. Right, why are we using, and, and here it is she, and we translate that into English as it, because hasanatun is feminine. You notice the subject of this sentence is feminine, therefore the verb as far as concord is concerned, is giving us two. Two. You see, she befalls. To see whom it befalls, we convert that she into it. Befalls whom? Them, meaning the people who have these excuses, you see. Hasanatun. What befalls them? Ask the question, what before the verb? And you are going to get the object, I mean the subject of the sentence. And because it is double vowel, we say a, a good. So if a good befalls them, Yaqulu, qala, he said, yaqulu, he says, and ya, of course, is he says, but because you added that wow, alif, it makes it they, plural. So, yaqulu, they say, hazihi. Why hazihi? Hazihi, because musibatun is feminine. We cannot say haza. We've got to describe it by a, by a feminine, right? Uh, what you call demonstrative pronoun, ism ishara. Hazihi, this is min indi. Min indi. You see, min actually means from. Min, from. I came from this place, right, from, min. But the moment you use the word indi, indi means from the presence of. This is what it means, like, you know, on from his side. This is an expression, min indi lahi, of course, because it's a double barrel preposition. So therefore, we use a genitive case here, meaning in the lahi. Wa in tusibhum hasanatun. And if any good befalls them, what they say? Yaqulu, they say, hadihi min in the lahi. This is from Allah. As I told you, look at that hasanatun is feminine. Because hasanatun is feminine, we say tusib, she. You see, she falls. And therefore, we say hasanatun. We say hadhi and not hadha. Right? Wa in tusibhum sayyiatun. Yaqulu hadhi min indik. Wa in tusibhum sayyiatun. Yaqulu hadhi min indik. You see? Now, wa and or but, because we're making two opposite statements. But, in if. Tusibhum, you see, that is ta against she befalls. She befalls. What is that she? Sayi atun. You see, another feminine subject of the sentence is feminine because of the round feminine ta. So we say tusibhum. You see, if she befalls, so but in, of course, in English we don't say she, we convert the she into it befalls, whom them. What befalls them? Ask the question, what? In front of the verb, you are going to get the subject of the sentence, and the sign of the subject of the sentence is that fatha, I mean dhamma. It's a double dhamma, so therefore we say an evil and not the evil. Yaqulu, they say, now you see these people who are always looking for excuses. They don't want to come and fight, defend themselves, and so on. Yaqulu, they say, qala, he said, yaqulu, he says, of course, that ya is he, but by adding it wow noon, you make it they say hazihi. You see hazihi again, 
because sayi atun is in a feminine right hazihi this is min indik min indik ka of course is you and that is referring to the nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam you see it's singular so when the quran if it is ka it either could be allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or rasul and we know this is in as far as the conversation is concerned and i told you min is from but the moment you use min indik or indik it means from your presence or from your side wa in tusibuhum sayyiatun but if an evil or an ill befalls them yaqulu hadhihi min indik they say this is from you o muhammad you see how the people are when the going is good they are very happy they say allah blessed us the moment there is a problem they say you know you caused it qul Again Allah is telling his nabi qul kullu min indillah fa ma li haula al qaum la yakaduna yafqahuna hadithan qul kullu min indillah fa ma li haula al qaum la yakadu yafqahuna hadithan so Allah tells his nabi reply qul say my muhammad to these people who have this belief that why did you you know decree warfare on us we are simple people we want to stay here make our ibadat give our zakat and all but allah says no you got to come out and defend yourself because life what is life the world all this life in this world is short the hereafter qul say kullun all all or everything min indik min indi what is min indi i told you is from right is from allah because min indi is a double barrel preposition now here you find the genitive case qul qul kullu min indi allah fa mali then what is a miss word you see fa is then ma Ma, ma means what? Mali, what is wrong? What is wrong with these people? What is amiss with them? You see, this is meaning. Ha ulai, ha ulai, these al qom, al qom, the people. You see, al qom is plural. Therefore, we don't say ha za. We say ha ulai, meaning ha ulai is a plural of ha za. Ha ulai, these people. right meaning these people that is the people of madina that were there at that time but it can refer to people today to who have that attitude la yakadu isik yakadu hardly or almost they almost kada yakadu ya of course we know how it's from the plural yeah yafqahuna you see faqaha he understood yafqahu he understands it's a trilateral verb and here you have that ya meaning he waw nun plural they understand they understand hadithan hadith hadith means speech now you notice you find that uh, they, in in our islamic parlance everything that allah's nabi has quoted they call it hadith but in the quran hadith means a speech it means a speech and of course we'll have a short break and inshallah after this short break we shall continue with this verse number 78 alif lam ra tilka ayatul kitabil mubi alif lam ra tilka ayatul kitabil mubi Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and just before the break we were discussing this yafqahuna fam faqaha they understand right hadith and as i was telling hadith actually commonly we say the saying of the prophet is hadith but according to the quran hadith wherever the quran uses the word hadith it is what allah has uttered what allah the quran is called the hadith according to the quran you find but of course we know that in our parlance we say hadith right so now qul allah is telling his nabi these people who are talking all these funny things qul say them my dear muhammad 
kullu min indillah that all is from Allah everything what happens is from Allah famali ha ula il qaum and what is amiss with these people la yakaduna yafqahuna hadisan they hardly understand any speech or they cannot understand simple logic so let us see ma asabaka min hasanatin fa min allah wa ma asabaka min sayyiatin fa min nafsik fa ma asabaka min hasanatin fa min allah wa ma asabaka min sayyiatin fa min nafsik now if you look at ma whatever now you know ma can be a question masmuk ma is whatever ma also means not you see so it has other meanings like this is a relative pronoun used as a relative instead of allazina allazina we use ma or allazi ma whatever asabaka now you see this is asaba asaba we did the this is past tense what they call a perfect form it before it befell asaba asaba and the present tense is asaba we did this yusibu asaba yusibu asaba yusibu asaba ka befalls you in other word allah is telling his nabi asaba ka befalls you it befalls you mean from has of of good of any good in other word you have all the good things in life what it is fa min fa is so or then min it is from now now you notice that that min actually supposed to be a sukun there but because we are going to join it the sukun has become a fatha fa min from allahi from allah min is a preposition allah in the genitive case min allah wa and ma whatever asabaka it be false asaba you see asaba the same thing asaba yusibu ka you o muhammad whatever be false you mean from sayyatin of any evil sayyia is evil obviously it's a feminine gender notice that because of the round there so mean from sayyatin fa then min allah it is from allah from min sorry fa min from nafsik from min nafsik you see from your ka is your self nafs nafs is singular plural is nufus or anfus so here now it's something that we have to understand very very well ma asabaka min hasanatin fa min allah whatever befalls you of good then it is from allah wa ma asabaka min sayyiatin fa min nafsik and whatever befalls you of evil then it is from yourself now i want to show you how this cause and effect works it's very important lest we misunderstand that i do wrong thing i do good thing i credit goes to whom to allah or to me now a simple thing we can understand for instance allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us hurrimat alaykumul maytata and then allah says kulu halalan tayyiban allah says on the one side eat something that is wholesome and lawful right but hurrimat alaykum but forbidden for you as food is anything that has died of natural death now imagine now allah's law that is allah's law but who put it into action i go and i eat something that is from a source that allah has forbidden so i have caused the problem myself right and allah has brought the laws so what you do there's cause and effect allah's law is there we apply it so we get a result a positive result or a negative re- result on how we apply it and if you look at chapter 2 verse 282 allah says so clearly 286 laha ma kasabat wa alaiha ma kasabat it is for you whatever you earn good is for you and whatever bad you do also against you is going to work wa arsalna ka lin nasi rasulan wa kafa billahi shahidan wa 
arsalna ka lina si rasulan wa kafa billahi shahidan wa and arsalna arsala arsala he sent arsalna arsalna what is that now we we have sent now that is a royal plural allah says we have sent ka you o muhammad we have sent you lin nasi to the people li is to al is the to the people or to mankind whatever you want rasulan rasulan is as a messenger it is it is uh, what you call a preposition or adverb rather it's an adverb showing that how have we sent you we have sent you as a messenger wa and kafa is sufficient billahi allah you notice this word kafa kafa takes that b together kafa plus b means is sufficient allah and allah is sufficient shahidan as a witness you see again you have an adverb showing adverb of manner how is allah sufficient allah is sufficient as a witness wa arsalna ka lin nasi rasulan and o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have sent you as a messenger to the people right you have to give the message right and people have to follow you you are not responsible for the good or you not responsible for the evil people apply the law and that is how they are going to get good uh, that is positive results and negative results and allah is sufficient as a witness may yuti'illa wa may yuti'ir rasula faqad ata allah wa man tawalla fama arsalnaka alayhim hafiza man yuti'i rasul faqad ata allah wa man tawalla fama arsalnaka alayhim hafiza you see allah is giving further explanation to his nabi that when you invite them to do certain things they are saying oh you are the causing problems and you are this and why must you have this law of warfare so here allah says man whoever or if you want to just plain who or you can even say who so ever man yuti u ataa he obeyed right ataa he obeyed yuti u yuti u obeys yuti u obeys he obeys now actually it yuti because you are joining now it becomes a kasra ye he obeys whom he obeys whom you ask a question after the verb obeys whom you are going to get an object of course sign of object is a fatha al is the the messenger or the message bearer right faqad fa is then or so faqad is gender uh, verily ataa you see this is the past tense ataa yutiu ataa he obeyed yutiu he obeys ataa he obeys Allah obeys whom again now you ask a question obeys whom Allah you see how perfect this arabic construction of the quran is wa and man whoever tawalla walla tawalla means to turn away to turn away in other word you refuse to follow the nabi fama then not fa is then not arsalnaka arsalna you see we just did this what is the na is arsala arsala yursilu irsalin like the fourth form verb afala yufilu you see this is a fourth form verb so we say arsala yursilu right rasala means arsala means i to send so arsalna we meaning the royal plural allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us arsalna ka we have not sent you o muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam alayhim over them these people who are talking all this why is the warfare been uh, decreed upon us and all the excuses allah is telling he says wa ma arsalna ka alayhim we have not sent over them hafizan as a guardian as a guardian you wa ma alayna illa al balaghul mubin the work of the messenger is allah says i've sent you as a messenger and not as a guardian to sit there and and to be you know protecting them all the time but your duty is to give the message 
like you say elsewhere in the Quran, you know, wa ma alayna illa al-balaq al-mubin. It is a duty upon us what a clear propagation of the message. And so here Allah Subhanahu wa Taala tells us, "Ma yuti al-rasula, fakad ata Allah whosoever or whoever obeys the messenger." Then verily he has obeyed Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. What? Why we say that? Because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sent the Quran to the Nabi, to the Rasul, and the Rasul gives you the orders from the Quran. So if you disobey the Rasul, you are disobeying Allah. And if you obey Allah, if you obey the Rasul, who is going to give you instructions via the Quran, which means you are obeying Allah. Wa man tawalla, and whoever turns away. In other words, refuses to follow the Nabi in his instruction. So Allah says, "Fama arsalna ka, and O Muhammad, then we have not sent you. Alayhim over them, hafizan, as a protector, as a guardian. We have sent you as a Rasul to give you the, give them the message. Wa yaquluna taatun, fa iza barazu min indik." بَيَّتَ طَائِفَةٌ مِّنْهُمْ خَيْرَ الَّذِي تَقُولُ وَيَقُولُ طَاعَةٌ فَإِذَا بَرَزُوا مِنْ عِنْدِكْ بَيَّتَ طَائِفَةٌ مِّنْهُمْ خَيْرَ الَّذِينَ تَقُولُ So we have a short break inshallah and after the short break we'll come back to this particular verse. ألف لام را تلك آيات الكتاب المبين ألف لام را تلك آيات الكتاب المبين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله and welcome back to ITV's program Miftah al-Quran and of course we continued chapter 4 of the Quran and just before the break we were talking that Allah's Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is told that you have been sent as a messenger not someone to guard them and protect them and all that but وَيَقُولُوا طَاعَةٌ فَإِذَا بَرَزُوا مِنْ عِنْدِكْ بَيَّتَ طَائِفَةٌ مِّنْهُمْ قَيْرَ الَّذِينَ تَقُولُوا وَأَنْدْ Yaquluna, qala, he said, we have done this over and over again. Yaqulu, he says, but wa'unun makes it, wa yaquluna. Then they say, they, what they say? Ta'atun, obedience, O Muhammad, we are obeying you, we are following you, right? We, we agree to whatever you want to, but we follow you, we obey you. Fa'iza, then, when, or but when? Barazu means they sally forth, they are with their shaitans, with their, with their friends, they turn around. Min indik from you, min indik of course, mean from your presence. Ka bayyata, bayyata means to plan by night. You see when you make all kinds of, you know when you look at even uh, some of the conspiracies, they always they give you the feeling that it's going to be done at night. Bayyata by night, pa ifatu, not all but just a party of them, you see, a party of them, a group of them, mean whom from among them or of them, khaira other than allazi what taqulu you had said. You see, ya. Yeah. Now, when they come to you, they say ta'atun, and they say obedience, O Rasul, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, O Muhammad, we are going to obey you. فَإِذَا بَرَزُوا مِنْ عِنْدِكَ So when they sally forth, they go away from you. طَائِفَةٌ A party of them planned by night, the conspiracies, other than what you had said. وَاللَّهُ يَكْتُبُ مَا يُبَيِّتُونَ وَاللَّهُ يَكْتُبُ مَا يُبَيِّتُونَ وَا And or but اللَّهُ اللَّهُ يَكْتُبُ يَكْتُبُ Allah writes now, who writes? Ask the question, who? You got the subject of the sentence or the nominative case. So, Allah writes, ma, whatever, you bayitu, bayyata, you bayitu. It's a second form verb, means to plan by night. They plan by night. Bayyata, you bayitu, ya is you. I mean, ya, you is he. Wa'unun makes it plural. 
So they plan by night. Wallahu yaktubu ma yubayituna. But Allah writes. In other words, Allah is making a note of whatever they plan by night. Fa'arid anhum wa tawakkal ala Allahi wa kafa billahi wakila. Fa'arid anhum wa tawakkal ala Allahi wa kafa billahi wakila. Fa so. Allah is telling his Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam for or then a'arid from arada means to turn away. A'arid is a command. A'arid, turn away, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. from them. An of course is, what is an? An is from. An is from. You notice an is from. An whom from them, turn away from them. Wa and tawakkal. You see, wakkala. Tawakkala. Tawakkala means put trust. Right? Tawakkala ya tawakkalu. It's a fifth form verb. Put trust. Right? Put trust. In other words, when you say tawakkala la la, trust in Allah. Allah on Allah. Allah, of course, is in a genitive case because of Allah. Put trust upon Allah or on Allah. Wa and kafa is sufficient. As I told you, kafa. This word kafa always take ba, which is part of the word kafa, and together they mean is sufficient, Allah is sufficient, wakilan again as an adverb to show men how is Allah sufficient as a trustee. So here it is. Fa'arid anhum. Allah's Nabi is commanded by, by Allah. Fa'arid anhum. So turn away from them. These people who have double standards. They say, we'll do these things, but why do you want us to come? And, and we're scared of the people. We're scared to die. And even Allah tells them that, you know, this life is a temporary thing. The real last, everlasting thing is the hereafter. But nevertheless, Allah's Nabi is being told, turn away from them and put trust on Allah or in Allah. And sufficient is Allah as a trustee. Afala yatadabbaruna al-Qur'an. Afala yatadabbaruna al-Qur'an. Say Allah is posing a question to you and to me. To all of us. Right? Ah, of course when you know ah introduces a question mark like alam tara, a'anta fa'alta. Afala fa is then or so. La is not. So not or then not. Tadabbara yatadabbaru. Now this is a verb that belongs to, to one of the fifth forms. Tadabbara yatadabbaru. Right, ya of course means, ya means he, they, wow noon. Yatadabbaru na, they, they ponder, they think, they reflect, whatever meaning you want to write. Al-Quran. The Quran over to reflect over. You see here, ponder over. Ponder over what? As a question, what? Ponder over what? Al Quran, the Quran. So Allah is asking, right? Everyone, Afalaya tadabbarun al Quran, do they not ponder over the Quran? Right? What? Allah wants us to ponder over what in the Quran? Walau kana min andi. خَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِيهِ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا وَلَوْ كَانَ مِنْ عِنْدِ غَيْرِ اللَّهِ لَوَجَدُوا فِيهِ اخْتِلَافًا كَثِيرًا So Allah is telling us, ponder over the Qur'an. And what must we ponder over the Qur'an? Here Allah says, wa and لَوْ if كَانَ If it was, in other words, if, if the Prophet himself wrote it, or you have a whole lot of editors who wrote it down, or we had some other people who forged it. Allah says, if it was min indi, as I told you, min indi means from the presence of. Min indi lahi, min indi ghayri, ghayr other than Allah. See, ghayr is preposition, Allah in the genitive case, right? La wajadu, la, what is la? Indeed. Wajada, wajada, he found. Wajadu, they found. Right? 
they would indeed find, you see, this is the construction we've got to accommodate. They would indeed find who, if they, they who want to ponder over the Quran, Allah is challenging them. They would indeed find fee he in it. And you see that he actually means him. Means him. But we've got to accommodate the English language. So we say fee he in it. Ikhtilafan. Ikhtilaf means contradictions. Contradiction meaning I will say two, two people were there and somebody somewhere else, Quran says three people. The Quran will say that this thing happened at night. Elsewhere in another chapter, the Quran will say, no, this thing happened during the daytime. Say in, in certain place was five people. And you see that's the meaning of ikhtilaf, contradiction, opposite statement. Kathiran, not one. Not one, but much, much, much Allah is telling us. So, ikhtilaf and kathiran, look at that concord here. Ikhtilaf and kathiran, what do we notice as far as the concord, the agreement between the adjective and the noun? This is a noun, this is an adjective, you find both are double vowel. Both are in the accusative, both are in, in what you call indefinite article, and both are in a masculine because they do not have a feminine ta. So we say ikhtilaf and kathiran. There is perfect concord and agreement between the noun and the adjective. And Allah is telling, walau kana min indi khayrillah. If this Quran was from anyone other than Allah, right? Lawajadu fi ikhtilaf and kathira. They, that is those who are asked to ponder over the Quran, they would have found much, not one, but much contradiction in it. And here you find that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is challenging us. He's challenging us that first of all, those who want to be critical of the Quran, what is a proof of the divinity of the Quran? A proof. Bring me a proof that the Quran is a divine, divine book. Allah says first and foremost, go and check if there is any contradictions in it. There is no contradiction because it is from Allah. If it was from anyone other than Allah, you would have found not one but much contradiction. Another thing we must understand about this word ikhtilaf. Allah says in the Quran, Wala takunu kalazina farraku waqtalafu. Be not like those who divided themselves and they made ikhtilaf. So ikhtilaf is something that is not acceptable in Islam. We can say whatever it wants, but ikhtilaf is something that is foreign to Islam and the proof of the divinity of the Quran is ikhtil, that there is no ikhtilaf in it. And of course, we have come to the end of this program. And uh, alhamdulillah, shukran for giving me company during this almost an hour. And I would say on behalf of my assistants here, Yusuf and Will, shukran. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alif Lam Ra Tilka ayatul kitab al mubin Inna anzalnahu qur'anan arabiyan la'allakum ta'qilun